What's going on YouTube, man? Every day is a long day for me, so I'm not really gonna say, you know, like today wasn't a long day. It was a long day, but I did learn a lot. So like one of the CEOs from uh, one of these space companies, I forgot the name, but anyway, he was talking about um, how he launched so many space spacecraft rockets and they did all these space explorations, all these different things. The reason they came to talk to us is because in, in, in the engineering program, you got aerospace engineer, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, and chemical engineers, and they were looking for young engineers to hopefully intern slash work for their company. So this main topic is gonna be volunteer for the harder jobs. Here we go. So after that quick overview, overview, all he talked about was like leadership. Um, he talked about what his company was looking for and what the company did. But I'm gonna focus on pretty much like what are the, the top things that he felt like people should know. People should know. So first off, I'm gonna talk about what he said. He said volunteer for the hard jobs because it's gonna give you certain advantages. It's gonna give you more opportunities to be able to do different projects. If you have a hard job and then like you complete that hard job and you go to another and another and another, then you're building up a resume of critical thinking. You're building up a resume of people getting to know you. It's a whole bunch of things going on there. So when you volunteer, when you're known for the guy that volunteers or the girl that volunteers for the harder jobs and you succeed in it, it's, it's a certain pride that comes with that. Now, I'm not saying everybody should volunteer for the harder jobs because not everybody, not everybody is built like that. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't want to do stuff that's difficult and that's fine. No knock on them. But to his point, you do learn really fast just because you had those opportunities to learn. That's a big one. And then when you're working on harder projects, usually supervisors in different sectors are working on the same project. And so you get some recognition just by being involved in the same project that somebody senior to you is involved in. And his example on how it helped him, he was able to fix a problem and then go brief a problem. Like he briefed his solution of the problem. And like I said in the video before, you gotta come with some solutions. And then he quickly earned his name as being reliable and one of the people who got things done. So when you think about it, that's kind of like anything you do in any job that you work anywhere, civilian, military, doesn't matter because if you're one of those people that stick out, you're a hard charger, you're a go-getter, you do the harder things, you do the things people aren't willing to do, you're going to stick out a lot more. I remember I was doing something, um, State 21 for an example, when you go, when you go apply to any type of officer program, it's normal that people talk about doing that stuff, but it's really rare when you find those people who have that grind and that, and that mindset like, yo, I'm gonna put this in this time around and I'm not playing. I've got my interviewee set up. I got my board questions ready. My uniform is ready. I'm on point. Bring the CO in now and let's get an interview going. When you got attitude like that about what you're doing and what you're trying to do, people will definitely notice you. They'll notice that grind and that hunger in you. Then those opportunities open up that way as well. So. Keep on the grind, keep the keep the pedal to the metal, as they say, right? And um, hope you guys had a great day, and I'll catch you guys next video, which will be tomorrow. You already know how we do it. And um, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me in my email, comment, like, and subscribe on the video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.